let's take a look at how ai is transforming hr and its impact on employee performance i am delighted to have prashant kullar chro ecom express limited ravi kumar senior president and chief, chief people officer page industries limited megha gupta director hr pfizer amit sharma vp head people and culture india volvo group bhavna marwa director people and culture protivity chaitali mukherjee partner mckinsey and company to moderate the session you know one of the things which we are hearing a lot these days of course is how generative ai uh, what is known to us as chat gpt has actually transformed and taking away jobs uh, the whole journey from operating ai to uh, generative ai is a very interesting phenomena what i am going to try and attempt to do with uh, all our uh, speakers over here on this call is to just try and understand how are they actually looking at uh, AI disrupting the workplaces, but before I get into the topic, I just wanted to uh, put a few data points. McKinsey has been uh, studying this space of AI uh, pretty extensively. There is a research that uh, McKinsey has been doing year on year for the past five years uh, to study what is the impact of AI on workplaces, and it's a longitudinal study that we are doing year on year. What that does for us is it actually helps us understand for the predictions that are actually being made. is it actually on track or is it beyond track or below track and i think it's a very important one so one of the recent studies that we had also done it found that the number of uh, average number of ai capabilities that the organizations are using and when we say the average ones we mean the whole natural language generation and the computer vision it has doubled from at an average of 1.9 per organization in 19, uh, 2018 to a 3.8 in 2022 and and this number may look very abysmal but it is actually very high because we are talking about average across the world also the whole investment if we actually look at ai is also on a continuous rise nearly two thirds of other respondents of our survey globally had basically said that their organizations are expected to double the investments that they are actually making in the space of ai uh, quite interestingly ai is not being used only for productivity uh the whole definition of performance has actually changed dramatically and what we will try and uncover with our uh, panelists today is a little bit around that i would say someone who's uh, been born in a generation where ai didn't exist but you know we are chetali now getting used to this in daily work of life right? so i think if you log into your bank account you probably see a generative ai a uh, tool that helps you do a few things in a more productive fashion and you're absolutely right it's it's um, it's actually disrupted a few things uh, but i still think it's for the better uh, you know there's this whole discussion about roles and jobs versus you know uh, what's going to happen to all of us in terms of ai uh, but i beg to differ i think ai is um, you know as a concept uh, something that's already here it's in daily life Uh, on a daily basis i am asked if i am a robot or not i think even when i log into my company system so uh, you know it's here to stay and i think it's uh, from a performance point of view it's here to make us better yeah. yeah and why i say that is is because you know you're doing things faster uh, and you're not only from a productivity point of view but also from a best practice point of view so uh, for example you could bring in using tools uh, some very good uh, best practices which otherwise were not available to us in the past uh, and that helps me uh, you know do my strategic thinking in a better fashion so whatever role i am in if i have these tools at my disposal and it, and at my disposal and you know it becomes very easy for me to gather the right information also bring in people with the right skills because that's what ai can help me do then i think my performance goes a few leaps and bounds above what is expected so and i think that's what's happening to most roles sure. i still feel very strongly that uh, no roles are going to go away i think in all our organizations in all our roles ai will be here to stay and i think it only makes things better but i guess from a performance point of view we are all poised to take a much much bigger leap and i keep going back to this example of personal banking uh, you know we become far more Uh, efficient at you know personal banking, withdrawing money or transferring money here and there, all because of AI. Uh, so we've sort of tuned our minds to it. That's what's happening in the workplace as well, and it, it's also happening in a factory. It's happening in a sales office. It's happening at a customer's places. Let me you know give you an interesting example today. 
uh, you know, I was talking to somebody, and uh, you know, somebody, you know, what they did was they were hosting a panel similar to what we are having today. And the fourth panelist that they added, uh, you know, into the mix was ChatGPT. And you know, they asked the question to ChatGPT, you know, name ten CEOs. Uh, interestingly, you know, all the ten names that the ChatGPT or you know the AI actually took was all men. Uh, till the time, you know, uh, the the moderator asked another question. Okay, now name ten CEOs who are women. Uh, and then again, when you ask the same question, okay, just name ten CEOs, is when probably you know two of those women CEOs were added as part of the list. Now, why I'm sharing this example is the reality is you know the the AI or any other generative tools that we leverage or talking about are at the end of the day designed by humans. absolutely uh, so which means there is a huge amount of power that comes to us in terms of what we are going to leverage or are already leveraging start to leverage but at the same time uh, there is a huge impact or probably we have to be aware of technology or any kind of ai tool should be used for data or from a performance standpoint what's the historical trends what uh we should probably look forward in terms of how person is performing in a category which is what the improvement area but from a decision making point it still comes back to the human to be able to look at that record what perspective that we look from a performance angle and then those decisions are moved forward from there so there is a tremendous you know places now imagine today you know i used to type a large email on performance to an individual i can go to chat gpt and say hey can you draft a performance improvement plan for xyz performance to today i can write it to chat gpt i can get in seconds and probably send to an associate but i am taking that decision on what basis i am going to use that so it does save a lot of time and there are multiple examples that i can take where uh, ai can be leveraged from a performance standpoint the only caveat that i always use leverage it because it's made by a human so at the end of the day the accuracy level can be that much of percentage uh, but at the same time the decision making has to come back to the human the relationship of human with machines chetali is been is as old as probably the human being itself uh, <laughs> just that uh, when they first invented the wheel or when they first invented a hunting tool you no know, that was the first machine which we uh, you know started using and if you really go uh, into more of a recent history when the industrial revolution happened uh, now we had a similar conversations you know you had the power looms to hand looms you know that's a classic example we used to talk about that took away jobs from india and then you had the you know, entire uh, uh, cottage industry kind of kind of getting wiped out and and, and the uh, and the machine made cloth starting coming in and so on and so forth so that's something in my view has been a constant and ever human beings have invented machines and invent and machines in turn have taken over certain jobs uh, which humans used to do uh, so it's a cycle the key part is that every time humans have learned to leverage the machines to the advantage of human beings and human society and it has never happened that machines have overtaken us uh, yeah. in any way thank god for that you know i i remember you know in uh, early 2000s when the computers were being introduced we used to say that the computers are going to take away the jobs no job has been taken away by the computer actually humans are leveraging computers much more today and now we are talking about uh, ai so to me it's a ongoing conversation but humans will always be on the top of it that's for sure and that has always been uh, like that the key piece here is that how do we really the machine the machine intelligence human intelligence work together the interface is there so in certain areas when you have uh, things which are a set in a which have a set uh, pattern or uh, or you have a data uh, around it so you have this entire ai it can work on it as uh, you know uh, somebody said earlier now it's all about the fact that uh, uh, the entire ai is based on certain data bank yeah and that data bank is actually you know uh, generating uh, you know the responses the ideas and where the human being score over is that we think beyond data banks because that's the power of human mind uh, you know if i were to give an example if somebody would have just looked at chat gpt and said okay you know and asked a, a you know housekeeping perp, uh, you know a, 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 or put the housekeeping data there 
how do you want a broom sometimes i would a more powerful broom i would a much bigger broom the vacuum cleaners won't have been invented or somebody would have talked about uh, a, a horse cart during those days uh, in an ai scenario they would have said, i need a bigger horse stronger horse a horse which can run faster rather than somebody coming up with a completely different uh, concept of a automobile uh, which is coming in so humans have this ability to think beyond uh, you know in the uh, in an area where you don't even have data but they can generate data out of external circumstances they can you know uh, visualize things much beyond uh, you know what is really obvious and come up with solutions which are really you know are, are the best ones uh, for the human being so that's something in my view will always uh, remain uh, in terms of uh, that interface coming to your first part of your question about manufacturing uh, again uh, it's about how do we leverage that there are certain areas where you can leverage it very easily because uh, if you want really want to do certain uh predictions around uh, the quality uh you know you you can very well you know as you have the data because you know you have very standard set process coming in you know what kind of defects are uh, are there and those defects are caused by what are you have already done your root cause analysis those uh, you know that database is very clearly there so you can very easily find out you know or or predict uh you know the the, the product coming out of the line and you don't really need to do that analysis on that so that's something uh, uh, is where it really helps but wherever you have more i would call it uh, cognitive things uh, you know that's where uh, it's finally the human being uh, which which really makes uh, the uh, uh, the key difference i was actually reading an uh, anecdote uh, sometime back about gary kasparov and uh, and and when he uh, was playing against the deep blue in the first instance he lost and then and everybody said hey you know you have got a great computer and they have done you know mm-hmm. they have you uh, you know gary kasparov has lost the computer you know that's what uh, was there subsequently he he played uh, after one year against another opponent uh, where both used computers and this time uh, the scores were leveled uh, because of the fact that both had the support of the computing so the additional uh, you know computing which uh, the gary was doing earlier which was the advantage which he had over uh, the rival that got nullified with the the you know uh, with that uh, computer uh, support but third time uh, gary himself understood from you know how things are working and he actually beat the computer once again so our our uh, you know things to learn are amazing it's a very good tool to use it's a very good tool to leverage uh, in terms of decision making data points but we need to be very very careful about the fact that it's not going to take decisions for yourself because that is still based on something which has happened earlier and we are decisions are book made more forward looking uh, uh, and and more uh, you know futuristic and especially in the elements where you have lots of other moving parts which if they have not been considered earlier uh, in, in in that uh, algorithm algorithm will not be able to do that no algorithm would have been able to predict covid-19 for sure no matter what algorithm would have been there no algorithm would have been able to predict that a ship will get stuck in sewage and the entire world supply chain will go for a toss and you know, those things uh, you still need uh, a human intelligence uh, to work on that yeah so i think it's very very important for all of us to develop a foundational understanding of ai for our people that's very important for us to understand that at the same time uh, employees should also start by gaining up you know foundational understanding of ai concepts uh, we should explore ai applications in their field that's very very important we uh, can uh, proactively explore how ai is being applied in specific industries or field and then the case studies the research papers and industry reports we we should leverage to understand the potential impact of ai and identify various areas where ai can be leveraged to drive innovation in productivity we are doing a lot of innovation work with the help of ai and we are able to create a lot of new products with the help of that we are able to improve a lot of processes by having this innovation with the help of ai within the organization and uh, moving to the next level of product development right and i, I think this exploration will also help us identify opportunities for ai integration in their day to day work and contribute meaningfully to the implementation of that right 
we can also embrace our learning mindset in our adaptability which is very very important in today's time like i said that ai is rapidly evolving and we'll have to you know evolve at the same pace so we have to cultivate a learning mindset and adaptability to keep up with the pace the way the things are changing and we should be able to explore new tools techniques and lot of approaches in ai and be willing to continuously upskill ourselves update our people skill that is going to really help them and this will also help us to actively engage people in knowledge sharing and participating in ai related communities forums to stay informed about the latest advancement and like ravi said best practices this is very very important right we also have to collaborate with ai systems and experts i think it's very very important to leverage the strengths of both humans and machine it's a time we'll have to do that and we should be able to openly working alongside ai technologies and seeking feedback and actively participating in refining the models algorithms and by you know by collaborating with ai systems our employees can enhance their own decision making as well right we can improve the processes we can leverage ai insights contribute to the improvements and responsible use of the ai technologies so it's very important to keep ourselves stay informed about ai ai ethics responsible ai best practices so that we are able to you know utilize all that and by taking all these steps i feel employees can position themselves organizations can position themselves as valuable contributors in the world of ai right mm-hmm. so that we are able to use the technologies effectively we can drive innovation and make meaningful contributions to the industries and various organizations